hello everybody uh, this is a little video of our leaving Gayton Marina um, onto pastures new and, uh, I'm all out of sorts because Deb's insisted we sit the opposite end of the, di the dinette we normally we normally that end looking yeah, so the camera's normally here looking that way so a bit, a bit feel a bit uh, doesn't uh, take a lot it doesn't no. take a lot no. people let anyway, me tell you that sorry where was we <laughs> So uh, on our way um, to Braunston, just before the tunnel, there was a, a burnt out boat. It was horrific to yeah, see. Yeah, we'd, we'd seen it um, because we're on some of the uh, narrowboat uh, Facebook pages. We'd seen it, somebody had mentioned it on there. Um, come come past the boat and, well, you, you'll see from the footage. Yeah. yeah now it's... I've tried to, I've done some searches on the internet about what actually happened. And there's so much speculation and I, I don't know so it would be nice to know if any of you guys uh, uh, have found out what's actually happened just leave yeah. it in the comments below um, be interesting for us to know and uh, all, all the other viewers yeah, as well and, and that it was okay yeah whoever yeah. had the boat was okay yeah, yeah. now there's something you don't like to see you know, we actually heard about this on one of the narrowboat um, Facebook pages and that was a fire his stove had got out of hand. Luckily nobody was hurt, but that was his home. That's turned his life upside down. So we had a few nights in Braunston. Um, I got my hair cut. Yes. Cost me a fortune. That's twice in a year. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then we got the delivery, um, Tesco's delivery yeah, at had Midland that. Chandler's, had that delivered and then set off. Or what we thought was going to set yeah, off. On the, and this is where we would have been going on uh, new waters. But, well, the, the heavens, just yeah, wind whipped up from nowhere. <laughs> Yeah. And, within uh, within like minutes, we're talking minutes. Yeah. It just absolutely so our, chucked it our, down. Our day's cruise turned into two hundred yards down. Two hundred <laughs> yards cruising, <laughs> and then trying to get into the to the bank to the yeah. moor. Wind was blowing across the fields, blowing <laughs> us off off of the uh, the bank. But and it was such a nice spot. We st yeah, <laughs> we yeah. stayed for a couple of more days. Yeah, yeah I think we stayed three more days, and yeah. that was the weekend where we had blazing sun some sharp frosts but they're beautiful yeah and, yeah and while we was moored there um we met um narrowboat nightingale yeah or, or the owners of narrowboat yeah. nightingale kev, yeah subscribers of ours kev lynn and trixie yeah. dog cute tr uh, cute trixie beautiful dog yeah. with uh, tiny little legs yeah. it was a um, Staffordshire Bull Terrier cross, cross Jack, Russell. Jack Russell. So beautiful. Yeah, everything about it was a staffy apart, apart from, from his little, little legs. legs, which was uh, Jack <laughs> Russell. But yeah. yeah, lovely dog. Yeah, she was lovely, and they were lovely people yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, and we got got a soft spot with the staffies. We had had a staffy for ten years. Beautiful yeah. dog she was. So we finally set off um, along the GU, heading to Wigram's Turn, Wigram's Turn or Napton Junction. I was then taking a right turn, and we were, I don't know, got it right that time. You'll see what I'm on about. And we're then heading towards Warwick. Warwick. Mm -hmm. We've got three locks ahead of us. Cow -cut. It's cow cut locks, and then the Stockton flight of locks, which we got through, um, all non-eventful. Off to Mark. Um, we're off to uncharted waters, and uh, it's like being on the boat for the first time. We fell into a comfort blanket of being in the same area for the last few months. We're now going somewhere where we've never been before, and it's just like those first few weeks 
that we had on the boat, the unknown, and this, uh, I got butterflies. Well, the clip that you've just seen was Friday when we left um, Braunston Junction, and 30 seconds after filming that, the heavens opened, and we, we moored up 200 yards past the junction. Yeah, yeah and we've we been there, there for yeah. three days. Today's now Monday, so we've stayed there for three days. Uh, Deb's now going to hit the bank. Am I? Yes. Oops, sorry. Quick manoeuvre. And we're now coming up to, um, what is it? Napton. Napton Junction, or Wigram's Turn. And we're going to turn left onto... Grand Union. I think it's the Grand Union because yeah. we're not sure whether this bit is and Grand Union to or Calcutt Oxford. Locks. Yeah, and then we're going to go up through Calcutt, Calcutt Locks. Now, once we turn left, we're going to be on uncharted waters yeah. or uncharted waters for us. Uh, we've been, like, like I said, in the same area to and from and throwing for the last few months, so that's uh, going to be nice uh, going somewhere else. Yeah. And it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just seen a signpost right to Warwick, so we're now going to hang a right. And we are now officially on uncharted waters for us. <laughs> Just like being newbies again. paddle mechanism on these locks I did intend to do some research on them I haven't so I'm going to leave it down to you guys so if any of you know how these actually work um, the dampen mechanism on if you could leave it in the comments below one thing I did notice you'll see from the footage the top white section um, had size stamps on them one of the ones two of the ones I noticed was two foot six by two foot six now I'm assuming and I'm only guessing here that that is a standard mechanism that will fit a two foot six by two foot six um, paddle and some of them had two foot nine by two foot nine so were these spears that they kept um, I don't know so answers on a postcard or in the section below well we're at the top lock Calcut boats uh, filling up the water and I've just seen some lock gear paddle mechanism that I haven't seen before so I'm now going to check that out yeah so we've got ground paddles on the locks and we've got this um, I was gonna say strange but if uh, if these are the only type of uh, paddles you've ever seen they won't be strange to you but to us we haven't come across them.
then the Stockton flight of locks, which we got through, um, all non-eventful. We just, uh, it was, it yeah, was a the, funny, it was a strange it was, day. It, it was weird. It was, yeah, we didn't, it was our more, mojo weren't. No, no, it was more like one of our first attempt at locks a year ago. Yeah. No, nothing seemed to gel. The, the locks were easy enough. They filled up quickly. They emptied quickly. The mm. weather was nice. Yeah. Just didn't seem to get our... No, it was... Yeah, strange. And that, it was something you should have enjoyed, and we just yeah, didn't. No. It was, it was, it was a funny yeah. sort of day. We didn't not enjoy it, but we didn't enjoy it as much no. as we normally, yeah, normally do. And we hadn't had a row or anything. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> a strange one this morning. We're doing Stockton locks. Um, Deb's doing the locks. I'm on the boat, but we, I don't know. We just don't seem to be able to get a. A rhythm going today normally we'll um, sort of bounce off each other and get a rhythm going and fly through these locks but it's just not happening today Third time lucky. And it just slows to a stop, no bang, no crash. So then obviously some the spring or damping mechanism in that. I shall do a little bit of research. A riverside pub that's not called the Boat Inn or the Navigation. So, so I think that's about it. Yeah, so what I thought I'd do for a for a change would be... Uh, <laughs> no, Sing I'm, you out. I'm, I'm only joking, <laughs> only joking. I could play you a couple of tunes, but I think uh, if I was to sing anything, I'd be... We'd lose, yeah, we'd we'd need, lose we'd subscribers. Need, yeah, we'd need an unsubscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video... Yeah, press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, press the subscribe button and as I've said before if you want future notifications of any videos we put up the bell icon and you'll be notified by YouTube every time we upload a video yeah and don't forget your comments because we do love yes, your comments yes yeah, that, yeah. That, that does keep us busy and entertained yeah yeah so bye bye